I just thought I'd um, do a quick video for you. We were talking about chainsaws before and um, a few different things, and I'm going to be sharpening a couple of chains that I've been that are a bit dull, and I, I just want to tidy them up. So I'm going to show you that. But also, I've um, I cut up some firewood yesterday um, on a job site, and 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 I had filled up twice, and I changed my chain twice, and I just want to show you something that what can happen to you in the field, and and or should and, I say why it happens? I want to show you this chain. So here's the two chains. This chain here, I had on uh, to start with, and I changed it after, after the first tank of fuel. And I don't know where you can notice it and see it there, but there's actually oil from the chain chain bar oil, and it's actually you can tell that it's actually lubricated the chain very well. However, when I changed it over to the next one, and I was running it, and I didn't really clean too much of my um, my bar on the chainsaw. And I don't think the oil was oiling it properly. And I noticed the chain was actually getting loose because I think the chain was getting too hot because I wasn't getting proper lubrication. But if you have a look at each individual thing, everything's very dry. So, and of course I was out in the paddock and I didn't really want to spend too much time on it. But this, I bought this new bar not long ago. And as I pull it off, you can see where the oil comes out, where the oil feed is. Well, it goes into that minute little hole there. And if you look closely enough, it's actually full of shit. And it wasn't doing its job, so it wasn't pumping the oil in. So yeah, I just wanted to show you that, uh, and you're probably aware of it. Um, but it just goes to show that lubrication is very important to keep the, the chain nice and um, nice and cool and also lubricated. But if you have a look along here too, I'm just inspecting the chain, but there's a couple of cogs that are actually seized. Cogs, I should say cog. Part of the chain's seized. And they're very hard moving. So I may have actually buggered this chain. They're not actually moving that well. Like I'll get it going, I'll get it free again. But yeah, but yeah, it's most important when you're um when you're um, out in the paddock and using your chainsaw mate that your chain is being lubricated properly because you can actually see the discoloration look at the difference in between the two two chains so um so yeah i could have very well as, as um stuffed this chain because it may have gotten too hot but i'm looking at all the little cutting edges and, and stuff on it it looks okay so anyway time will tell i'm going to be using this tomorrow and i'm going to use this on the first tank of fuel that i use and see um, and see how it is because if the chain goes loose and carries on I'll know I've ruined it because it's actually stretched and and yeah It's probably not the same. So yeah, I just thought I'd share that with you. Good on you mate